In this video, we're going to walk through a couple of examples about how to assess significant figures and report them correctly when you're performing calculations. And there's two different rules for significant figures when we're doing calculations. One applies to multiplication and division, and it says report the value you calculate with the least number of sig figs of any measured value that went into the calculation. And then on the addition and subtraction side, you'll report the least number of decimal places in your answer of any measured value that was in your calculation. So these are both pretty different. We've got two different problems that'll use each one. So our first problem is a child's weight is measured to be 45 pounds, convert their weight into units of grams. I'm gonna pull out from my like hat or something, a conversion factor for you. One pound equals 453.6 grams. So my measured value is that 45 pounds. I have three significant figures in this measurement. The four, the five, and the zero because the zero comes after a decimal place and a non-zero number. So I'll set this up using dimensional analysis. I've got my 45.0 pounds. I need to convert this into grams. So I'm going to put grams on the top of that fraction and pounds on the bottom. So my pounds units will cancel out when I plug this into my calculator. So that one pound equals 453.6 grams. I'm just going to plug this in. And when I do, I'm going to get a value that is big, <laughs> uh, 204,117 uh -huh, grams. So I am going to report significant figures to the least number of significant figures of a measured value. So my 45.0 has three sig figs, and it is a measured value. So that makes it an inexact number. Now my 453.6 grams per pound, this is a definition. This is an exact number because it's our conversion factor. I didn't measure those values or the person in the problem didn't measure those values. So I'm not going to consider the number of significant figures they have when I make my decision about how many to report in the end. So it'll be three. I have only one measured value. So I'll use the sig figs of that to report my answer. So that'll be one, two, three. This number right here, the one doesn't round up the four. So I'll report my answer as 200 and 4,000 grams. Remember, I'm replacing these uh, digits that are no longer significant with placeholder zeros. And this is three significant figures. Okay, so now let's look at addition and subtraction. Our next problem says we need to calculate the average weight of three children. We're given three different weights. So I'm gonna set up my problem. An average is when I take the sum of my three measurements and divide it by the number of measurements that I have. So this will look like 37.0 plus 42.555 plus 52, all divided by three measurements. So um, what I'm gonna do now is take this step by step. I have two steps that are actually occurring here. One, I'm adding up all of my values on the top of my equation. And two, I'm gonna divide by three. So these are two different rules in um, terms of significant figures. This is an addition and subtraction rule I apply first, and then a multiplication and division rule I apply second. And I'm going to do that as I go, but I'm going to make sure after each step, I'm going to make sure that I don't round until the very end of the problem. Okay, so what does this look like? 
Well, when I plug that top row into my calculator, I get a value that is 131.555, and this is pounds. So thinking about my significant figures here, this will then be divided by three in the next step of my calculation. But thinking about significant figures, I have for my first value, three significant figures and one decimal place. So let's make room. I have for my second value, five significant figures and I have three decimal places. And I have two significant figures for my last one and zero decimal places. So what I care about when doing addition or subtraction is the number of decimal places of each of these values rather than the sig figs. So that means I am going to report my value to the one with the least decimal places, which is at 52. And since it has zero decimal places, I'm gonna make sure this value also has zero decimal places. So instead of rounding here, I'm just going to say it's this one, it's 131. That would be my last significant figure. I'm going to keep all of these numbers moving forward and plug those into my calculator next. When I do, I get 43.851667. And this is pounds. Okay. Now I'm doing division. So division is going to be the least number of significant figures. When my value of uh, 131.555 is reported with all of its, with only its sig figs, it would just be this 131. And that would be three significant figures. The three, that's an exact value. It's part of my definition of how I calculate average. So I'm going to report three significant figures at the end of my calculation. That's going to give me 43.8, but that five rounds up the eight value. So it'll be 43.9 pounds. And that'll have three significant figures.